Yeah, I don't know. Down to the... Mm. It did. Mm. No, whatever. It works for me. Leprechaun-like creatures Let's really appear in Irish mythology and only became prominent in the later folklore. The actual name is derived from the Irish word leprechaun. <laughs> leprechaun? <laughs> yeah. Derived from Patrick mm. Deeney as a pygmy, a sprite... Or leprechaun. Yeah, that's so, all in the yeah, same family. Like, yeah, they're basically Fae, like... Fae, fairies, yeah, goblins, Same sprite. shit, right? Yeah. Uh, the word is thought to be a corruption of Middle Irish luchrupan from the Old Irish luchrupan and mm. compound of roots, lu, and, and body. Small body. Oh, it means small body. Oh. Basically, there we go. It's or, a, or little people, even. Yeah, ba- basically, little people. Well, little people. Little people. Yeah, mm-hmm. Little people. I don't know. Yeah. The early known, the earliest known reference for leprechaun appears in the mid- medieval tale known as Ectra Fergus Macleti. It says the text contains an episode in which Fergus falls asleep on the beach and wakes to find himself being dragged into the sea by three leprechauns. Oh, My shit. God, that's not good. I know. He ca- he captures his abductors who grant him three wishes in exchange for release. Hmm. The leprechaun is said to be a solitary creature whose principal occupation is making and mending shoes. So this like this is like the little shoe peoples, right? Yeah. That, that was like hot dog lines. You're supposed to leave them out and then they fix them in the morning or something? Yeah, yeah. Isn't it like shit. hotel service or some shit? Like <laughs> yeah, that? yeah. Just leave it at the door. Leave and it at the door. Everything. Everything's done. Yeah. Miracle done. They enjoy practical jokes. Mm-hmm. Don't uh, we all? Yeah. The great wealth of these fairies comes from the treasure crocs buried in old in wartime, which have uncovered and appropriated. According to David Russell, the leprechaun is the son of an evil spirit. Oh, Ew. there's this, he's the son of an evil spirit and a degenerate fairy who is not wholly good nor wholly evil. Well, then what the hell? He's just a little shit disturber. Just a little asshole. He's a little asshole shit sure. disturber. And if he wants to have funny, that's okay. fine. If not, so he's let's go whatever. back a little bit then. Yeah, we're going so back. So like, you go Greek... Greek history, Greek mythology and stuff like that, right? Mm-hmm. What is that little dude there that would always tell the stories and stuff? Uh, uh, like it's Herc, it's Herc. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who's the that little, guy? The little uh, half horse, half whatever person? No, no, no. Oh, the smaller one. The little guy with the ears. The goes, it's Herc, dude. it's Herc. <laughs> Wasn't he like... Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. It was the other one. Yeah, and he was like a little... Not like a elf. Little... He was like, what do you call I that? I know, I know what you're talking about. Okay, Hercules. Hercules. You want to Google that shit? Yeah. yeah. No, no, he's even don't smaller. Think horses. Why do you got horses on the brain? <laughs> What's going on over there? It's Herc. It's Herc. It's Herc. It's Herc. I know who you mean. He's the little guy with the horns, right? Homer? Tiny no. little Hermes? dude. No. No. Um, shit. I got to look at pictures. Now I got to Google shit again. Shit. Oh. But anyway, like I think there that, he is. He's like this little dude. What's that guy? Who's this his name? Little Who's the guy? This yeah. little guy. Yeah, yeah. With the little flute, the little flute playing Pan. dude. Pan. Pan. There we go. But isn't he like? Uh, he's like. Well, now we know his name. Midsummer Night's Dream. Isn't he like a sprite or something? Hercules right? Pan. Isn't he like sprite? A sprite or not a... like the drink? But isn't he like good it's king like a Pan, fae. god of shepherd and flock nature? Uh, he's mischievous though. He's like his Loki. girlfriend is Aphrodite. Well, laddie, freaking not. <laughs> no, like, it ties in with Greek mythology because Greek mythology has, like, these... Little sprites and little fairies yeah, and little yeah, half... Yeah. I know, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They're yeah. mischievous. Like, I they know. play jokes they and are. stuff. They're all shit disturbers. Yeah, anyway. I don't know why I just had to, like, burst in with that, but... That's fine. Burst away. Anyway. Burst away. But um, I have a couple stories of people's... Uh, you have stories? I have stories of people, like, actually encountering leprechauns. Leprechaunish? Supposedly. Not like the Supposedly. movie Leprechaun. No, the Leprechaun with Jen- Jennifer Aniston. No, no, not no. like that. No, oh, God, they're nice. no. no, they're no, not they're nice. Not either, nice. <laughs> but they're not the movie. They're not the movie mm. ones. So on this one here, um, I've got this story from yourghoststories.com dot com from two thousand eight. This fellow says, "My name's Georgie, and I'm from England, and I'm now nineteen years old. So now he'd probably be like, I don't know, thirty. Yeah." <laughs> And he says, I have since moved house. This happened to me when I was 14 years old and I lived in another house. The house was quite big and Victorian styled and was always quite freaky, had always had a quite freaky feel about it. I always hated the night because I always felt as if something was in my room. Mm -hmm. But I would put my head under the cover and wait until I fell asleep. Well, this particular night I went to bed and done my usual routine and I fell asleep. I woke up in the middle of the night and I sat up in front of my bed there was a dressing table and I looked at the dressing table and there was a tiny person sitting on there, but he was green and it sounds silly, but it looked like a little leprechaun. I looked at it. He looked back at me 
And then when I realized what it was, I started screaming. <laughs> no <laughs> shit. And then, and then, then <laughs> the more I screamed, the more it laughed at me. And my mom came running in the room and I looked at her and she turned the light on and he disappeared. Okay, that sounds like a leprechaun. It does, kind of doesn't it? Like do, the pra- practical joke kind of shit, <laughs> yeah. right? I've never seen it before. And I just don't know why it was there. It sounds so unreal, and everybody thinks I was dreaming, but I know I wasn't. And what it was weird that I couldn't take my eyes off of it. I was so scared, but I couldn't look away. I just wondered if anyone had any ideas of what this was. Ooh. Ooh. Are That's they so green, though? Like, are they physically you green, think, or are well, just their clothes are green? Well, then now like, we're getting to... Are they just to, little peoples? Are we getting to the hobgoblin territory again? Yeah, mm-hmm. basically, right? Pretty much, yeah. Well, I wonder if it's just all different words for the same kind of shit. I don't know. I don't know. That's and you weird. know what's funny? Like we were telling you girls when we were at Ikea last year, and we had all these people coming up to tell us stories. There was one lady who, and she was a nurse. She came and she told us about a woman that was Hawaiian. And apparently in Hawaii, they have a culture where they have all these little people little that come in the middle of the night. And they'll come into your room and stuff. Mm-hmm. And she was telling us how she had a coworker or something who swore by this. And she would always tell them tales of how these people would, they would take things, like they would take the brush off the dresser and stuff like yeah. this in the middle of the night. I don't know, what's with the little people? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. Little peoples are fascinating, maybe. Do you have any stories? I have a second one if we want to hear that. Well, I don't know. If you we want to read it? hear it. Would you like to read it or you want me to read it? You can read it. Do you want I to read can read it. it. Sure. Story number two. Hello, do. Let me do. Sure. So I was about eight or nine years old and I was in bed, actually in my sister's bed. We shared a room and had bunk beds. I usually slept on the bottom bunk, but for whatever reason, I was sleeping on the top bunk with her. Anyway, I woke up. I was not sleeping. I was very much awake. I look over, and there's a little man standing in the corner, just in front of the open closet. He was pointing and laughing, but making no sound. Hmm. Just standing there laughing and pointing. I was terrified and frozen in fear. He threw stuffed animals at my sister and just kept laughing, but again, absolute silence. I laid there frozen in fear. I believe I pulled the covers over my head. What's with the covers over their head? Everyone's trying to smother themselves or what? It's not like a vortex. No. (laughs) Just laid there. (laughs) Laid there awake until morning. As soon as I got up the courage to get out of bed, I ran and told my mom what happened. I kept pleading with her to understand that it was not a dream or a nightmare. It was, I was very much awake. My mom froze and went a little pale, Hmm. but I was trying to play calm and brush it off, assuring me it must have been a nightmare. Years later, the subject came up, and my mom told me that she got freaked out because she had the same experience when she was a kid. Hmm. Every detail of the little man who is very leprechaun-like was the same. Hmm. She had apparently went to her mother to tell her about my experience, and she oh, and told her mom about her own. Wow. Come to find out, my grandma saw the same little man That's and creepy. had the same details of what he looked like. We all said we experienced the same thing. The laughing with no noise. It's so strange that we all experienced this and saw the same little man. It is. I wonder if it was in the same house, right? Yeah, I wonder. Yeah. Well, probably. Most probably. likely. Why would it be in a different one unless they followed yeah. them around, right? Sure. I've tried to pinpoint similar details between the three of us, but the only thing we had in common was, oh, that we're female. We're different ages, living in different areas. Oh, they were all female, different ages, different areas. Hmm. I'm okay. the middle child, and so is my grandma, but my mom was the youngest. It's just so odd. That is odd. It is really odd. Hmm. I have three boys now, and I'm really cursed if they'll ever wake up and tell me about a little man. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. Um, that would be weird. I'd be selling my shit and getting the fuck yeah. out. Yeah. Sorry. Thank you very much. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, and just for you girls, just for sake of whatever, the episode that we recorded this week with a girl from St. Boniface, mm-hmm. that is our third installment of what we like to call Get the Fuck Out of My House. Yeah. So if you ever want to go back and check out our stories, we have had people that told us their personal stories, whether they had lived or do currently live in a house with house stuff going on. With stuff. Mm-hmm. And it's called Get the Fuck Out get of My House. Get the fuck out of my house. Yeah. So it's, yep. mm-hmm. so whether it's the ghost saying, get the fuck out of my house, or the people saying, get the fuck out yeah. of my house. Yeah. Yeah. One or the tether. I just felt like I had to swear because with people here, I normally don't swear. So now I had to like kick it up. And yeah, she's like, she's good now. I feel good now. I feel so much better now. In honor of St. Patty's Day, Saint like we're not Patrick's gonna, we're not gonna. Day. Do we want to talk about the whole St. Patrick's? What the no, origins no, no, are? No, no, no. I was just trying to see if I had more stories. No, I know, but everybody knows what St. Patrick's is. It's about the saint, the patron saint that drove the snakes out of Ireland, right? So they celebrate snakes. They and that's why they're apparently and to they this celebrate day with alcohol. And they celebrate with alcohol, so you can see your own invisible yep, snakes. Right there, we go. <laughs> woo-hoo, so woo-hoo. 
But yeah, so St. Patrick's Day is to celebrate the patron saint that saved Ireland and they, they he cast all the snakes into the sea. Generally, that's what the whole feeling is about that. I wonder that. where that came from. Another wife's tale. Yeah, I know. I don't know. Well, you know, How many you wonder where this stuff, yeah, I know. well, you wonder where this stuff can come from, right? So, I mean, yeah. it's probably, probably to some extent it's true. But let's talk about the Irish proverbs that you can tell in proverbs. a Proverbs. Proverbs. You can enlighten your friends and family with yeah. on this Next time day you of cheer. St. Patrick's Day. When you cheer. And every time you say a proverb, you take a shot. Oh, my God. No. Da, na, na, no, no. Na, well, at na, least I have this na, one. Na, 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 na. <laughs> yeah. So here are some <laughs> Irish proverbs. Craftsman's son may grow up in ignorance of his father's skills. Youth does not mind where it sets its foot. Don't become broke by trying to look rich. <laughs> Amen to that, sister. Preaching. <laughs> Another one I've got. You've got to do your own growing, no matter how tall your father was. <laughs> the well-fed does not understand the lean. I yeah. wish I understood the lean. I want to understand the lean. I want to understand the lean. <laughs> Please. A good laugh and a long sleep are the two best cures. Aye. 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 You can't kiss an Irish girl unexpectedly. You can only kiss her sooner than she thought you would. Hmm. That sounds like <laughs> Harvey Epstein <laughs> shit right there. Yeah, there right? we or go. Yeah. Harvey Weinstein <laughs> shit right there. Like Don't be that. touching girls. <laughs> 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 Do not take the thatch from your own roof to buy slates for another man's house. <laughs> well, that's a no-brainer. Yeah. There's no use boiling your cabbage twice. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> you don't fart as much, huh? <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> a tune is more lasting than the song of birds, and a word is more lasting than the wealth of the world. Oh. Ooh, I like that one. Ooh. Ooh. It's as easy to catch a cold in the king's castle in, as it is in a shepherd's hut. Mm-hmm. That's true. Never scald your lips with another man's porridge. Say what? Yeah, I know. I saw that one too. I'm like, mm, what are we saying here exactly? That sounds hmm. questionable. I'm sorry. Not that I'm pervy or anything. No, but no. It sounds like never. a metaphor for yeah, something. Yeah, it does. Oh. Yeah, no. uh, lose an hour in the morning and you'll be looking for it all day. That's a drunken Irish yeah. proverb, I think. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and here, a drink precedes a story. There you are. That's true. No matter how many rooms you have in your house, you can only sleep in the one bed. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Men are like bagpipes. No sound comes from them until they <laughs> are full. full. Yeah, I know. I saw that one too. <laughs> Better out the uh, basement than the attic. Yeah, I know. Right? I... Oh. <laughs> take the world nice and easy, and the world will take you the same. Oh. It's a lonely washing that uh, has a ma- no man's shirt in it. Oh, yeah. A lonely right. washing? <laughs> Give me know. a break. That sounds weird. Experience is the comb that gives life. Oh, wait. I've watched what? that one. Experience is the comb that life gives a bald man. <laughs> a man who has lived long enough to lose his hair will no doubt know a thing or two about life. Mm. Oh, I thought I was going to say about a comb. <laughs> about a comb. <laughs> Don't need no more combs if you're bald. No more combs, no. A companion shortens a road. Beauty doesn't boil the kettle. Sleep is the first sign of recovery. A fat Christmas <laughs> makes for a tight graveyard. What? What? A fat How? Christmas... Makes for a tight graveyard. Does that mean uh, everybody's going to die after Christmas? Makes for a tight that's not very I don't friendly. Get that one, like really, <laughs> that's not a very good proverb. No, let's give us big signals there. So, I think, so right? if you spend too much at Christmas time, your plot will be very well, I small. Think, I think they're saying if you pig out at Christmas time, right? I know, but then, uh, you could also be the other way. If you spend a whole shit a lot of money at Christmas time, you're going to have a graveyard this big. I guess. <laughs> I don't know. That's weird. May love and laughter light your days and warm your heart and home. May good and faithful friends be yours wherever you may roam. May peace and plenty bless your world with joy that long endures. May all life's passing seasons bring the best to you and yours. Ooh, oh, that's, that's beautiful. Nice. I love that one. Aww. Forgetting debt doesn't mean it's paid. No shit. Yeah. <laughs> Preach into the choir. Yeah. No, it doesn't work. No. A good word never broke a tooth. Oh, okay. Every patient yeah, is a doctor true. after he is cured. That's true. That's true that's too. That's so true. Yeah. No man ever wore a scarf as warm as his daughter's arm around his neck. Oh, isn't that lovely? Aww. And what was that other one? May the may you be in heaven an hour no. after the devil knows you're dead. I love no, that one. Oh, a I love that one. <clears throat> Where the hell is that one? I have lots. I have fifty of them too. Oh, do you? So, yeah, it's crazy. Do you want to read a few? It's up yeah, to just you. hang sure. on. Uh, may you randomly. be at the gates of heaven an hour before the devil knows you're dead. I love that one. Yeah. May you live as long as you want and never want as long as you live. Hmm. Yours are better than mine. 
I complained that I had no shoes until I met a man, man with that no had...